Let's get in to this hateful, hurtful topic. I'm excited. Are you excited? So what makes spite different from other similar concepts, such as anger, um, competition, jealousy, uh, resentment, dominance, and vengeance? While all of these are very cause and effect in nature, spite has this added element of severe dedication. <laughs> so let's talk about anger. Um, imagine someone does something to you that you don't like, and in that moment you get angry and you lash out in response. The end, done, anger. Um, with spite, on the other hand, um, when someone does something to you that you don't like, you lash out in the moment, and then in the next, um, and then in the next, and then maybe you are chasing them down the street and you're throwing things and then um, you get the point. So, um, <laughs> to put it another way, anger is a sprint and spite is the ultra marathon obstacle course requiring dedication, focus, and pushing oneself past normal limits. So, I like to play devil's advocate. Um, can you even have spite without anger? Is that possible? Hmm, question mark. Maybe the people committing harmful acts against others are just assholes. No other motivation or reactionary reasoning, their very being affects others negatively. Um, or maybe their motivations are there, they're just less heated, not always overt. Um, some people just love competition or have a strong desire to dominate. So, to shift a little, what happens now when we incorporate jealousy, envy, resentment into the spite narrative? Wanting so badly what someone else has, you engage in increasingly outrageous acts. For what? To have what they have? To take what they have because you think they don't deserve it? Um, to steal their power and prestige? Or to savor the moment when you make that final move in your master plan that knocks them off their lofty pedestal? unavoidably also dragging you down with them. So in all these musings, there's a common thread that keeps coming up. Spite seems to require harm to oneself in the process of harming others. Um, ever heard of that saying, cut off your nose to spite your face? Hmm? Um, so this phrase, cut off your nose to spite your face, um, has been known to be used as early as the 12th century, the high Middle Ages. Um, that's a lot of hurtful feelings and a lot of time to practice acting out all their harmful variations. So tonight, we will be teasing out these rancorous threads through six different talks to explore this fascinating dark theme, and I do love me a fascinating dark theme. Um, so our speakers and topics tonight are Courtney Brown, speaking on Two Wrongs Make a Spite, the Evolutionary Biology Dispute, Raina Bird, Good Fences Make Good Neighbors, the Spite Edition, Avni Gadani, Never Kill Just One, Lessons from Fulan Devi, Robin Arsega, Shun Bukai, The Spirits of Spite, Matt Mills, Edison's Malice in the War of the Currents, and Aaron Doran, Church, State, and a Lot of Hate, The Investiture Controversy. But before we launch into our talks, I have a quote to get us in the mood, and usually this is where we raise a glass. We're just gonna hold it for now, get ready. Um, there are many different versions of this quote that have been attributed to different things. Um, it's been attributed to the Buddha of uh, they who have reached enlightenment fame, St. Augustine, philosopher, influencer of Christian doctrine, Malachi McCourt, Irish actor, writer, politician. It's said to be in some Alcoholics Anonymous materials and also um, attributed to Carrie Fisher, best known for being um, a feisty as fuck lady and also, you know, Princess Leia from the Star Wars things. Um, but whomever actually said it first, it still holds its spiteful potency. Resentment is like drinking poison and waiting for the other person to die. So, um, and with that, I'd like to call Courtney Brown to the stage to kick us off. 